big congratulations on answering the most competitive exam in the entire world in the middle of a pandemic. Hello everyone, I'm Anirudh Bhatt, a third year medical student at Goa Medical College and I thank you so much for clicking on this video. In this video, I'll be answering a very frequently asked question to me on my Instagram DMs and in the YouTube comment section. Should I take a drop and if yes, how should I go about the strategy in answering NEET 2021? A huge disclaimer over here, this is my frank opinion and please take a very informed decision of whether you should take a drop or join some other course apart from MBBS if you do not get the college of your choice in NEET 2020. I want you to do an exercise with me. Let us do counting. November, December, January, February, March, April. Six months are remaining for the month of May to arrive which is when typically your NEET should have been held this year. If we talk about the year 2021, I believe that we'll be back to normalcy by January or February next year, which means that NEET 2021 will be held in the month of May most probably. Of course, I cannot tell you this with complete guarantee, but it is very easy to assume at this particular point that they will go ahead and carry out NEET 2021 according to schedule, which is the May of 2021 which in my opinion makes the decision of taking a drop much more easier to take at this particular moment. Because if you had taken a drop say two years ago or three years ago, you would have to wait a one year. You would have to wait one year to answer the NEET exam again. Since this year the exam was held in the month of September, you only have six months remaining for next year's NEET to come about which frankly poses a big psychological edge to you. Instead of waiting one year in a typical year, this time you'll be waiting only six months to answer that particular exam. And we all can understand that you might have faced a lot of issues while answering the exam. The day of the exam might not have gone the way that you anticipated to because you might have had some stress about COVID-19. You could not have done your preparation properly because there probably there were some personal reasons. And therefore it is okay to take a drop and you won't be taking a drop for one year. You'll be taking a drop for six months. So I believe if you're in this particular situation, you should take a drop. And I'll be telling you the exact strategy that you should be following so that you can maximize the output for NEET 2021 and try to get the rank of your choice. My strategy is as follows. For the first 15 days, that is starting from right today, you should enroll into a test series. You can pick any test series you want, Allen, Aka, any of the quota coaching institutions. You answer two tests each and every single day. At this point, you'll be scoring somewhere around the same marks that you caught in NEET 2020. But do not fear. The purpose of this testing series in the first initial 15 days is so that you understand which were the weak areas that you faced in NEET 2020. I'll explain. Supposing you'll be doing, supposing you'll be answering two tests in the next 15 days, you'll be making a few mistakes and mistakes in your weak topics, whether it is biology, chemistry or physics, you'll be making a lot of mistakes. Note down these mistakes which chapter this particular mistake is from and you can identify these chapters very easily because all of these coaching institutions if you take an online exam they will give you a detailed breakdown of the questions that you have not answered or the questions that you have got wrong they will specify which chapter you are lacking in if you go and see the analysis of the answer key that they give you'll be able to identify those chapters where you are very very weak in Therefore, if you do this exercise of 15 days, at the end of 15 days, you will have a holistic view of which chapters, of which topics, and of which paragraph from NCRT you are weak in. Whether it was a lack of conceptual clarity, or whether you could not buy heart a particular fact in biology, at the end of the 15 weeks, or 15 days of study, beg me pardon, you'll be understanding which are those weak areas. After the first initial 15 days of answering this test series, this is where the critical part comes. You'll be following the Pareto principle over here, the 80-20 split. After you identified your weak chapters, 80% of the time during the day, for example, you're spending 10 hours on study. 
eight hours during the day, you'll be dedicated to only solving questions and rereading those chapters, those topics that you were weak in, those weak chapters that you identified while you were doing the 15 days of test series. The next 20% of your time, that is two hours, you'll be focusing on that particular information that you are comfortable in. There will be some topics, for example, in physics, chemistry, and biology that you will be knowing inside and out. You'll be having a complete knowledge of that particular topic and those topics are your strength. Those questions you can answer in any given exam. So let us focus less amount of time on those chapters where you're already strong in and dedicate 80% of the time in those chapters where you tend to make mistakes and tend to get a lot of errors in your exam. So one month before your May 2021 exam, that is the entire month of April, the first 15 days of April, the 1st of April till the 15th of April, you enroll into another test series. At this point, what you want to do is answer the test series so that you get into the habit of solving MCQs. You should be literally be an MCQ solving machine one month prior to the May 2021 exam. I've already explained this concept in the previous video. You're welcome to go and see and you'll be understanding the exact strategy, the psychology behind answering test series one month prior to the main exam. At this stage, you'll be answering this test series to get into the habit of solving MCQs. You've studied a lot. you studied a lot in 11th and 12th and a lot of study has been done even in the drop year. This is the time when you'll be going into the fifth gear and really cranking up on those marks and really shooting your marks. This is where you'll also take a note of those fine areas, those areas where you make those silly mistakes. And in the last one month of your particular study, this is the time where you can take your score from say 600 to 700 even. So in summary, if you have decided to take a drop, the first 15 days you test yourself, understand your weaknesses. The next four months, that is up till the month of March, you work on these mistakes using the 80-20 principle. 80% of the time you should be spending on your weak subjects, 20% of the time on your strong subjects. In the month of April, the first 15 days, test yourself again by taking a test series. And I would highly recommend Allen test series at this particular moment. And for the next 15 days, between the 16th of April, right up till the NEET exam, you study daily on those key silly areas that you would make a mistake in the exam. I believe that this strategy will also help you in identifying your weakened areas, get into the habit of solving MCQs and be adequately prepared for the May 2021 exam. Hopefully they conduct next year's exams on time and don't postpone them because as we all know, it produces a huge amount of burden on the students and the educational system. So that's it guys, the video for today. If you're interested, you can check out my video on how you can study NCRT biology and the perfect book of NCRT at your fingertip, which is the book that I recommend for you to go and consolidate everything that you've studied in your NCRT textbook in the form of MCQs. You can go and check that video out. It will be linked up in the info cards or down in the description. Thanks so much for sticking with me right up till the end. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in the next video.